Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing? Steve here bringing you some more aqua porn. I'm uh, going to bring you a series of short little videos, uh, video updates on some things that I'm working on with the Marine build. First update is on the reef controller and my hood. As you can see I painted the hood black, already looking a little bit better. Unfortunately the spaghetti mess is still there and that's because I either fried out the voltage in regulator on the Arduino board. Uh, something's wrong there because it won't hook up to DC power. The only way I can power the board is through the USB cable on my computer right now. So I'll have to figure that one out. Also the last time you guys were here, or last time I updated rather, is my temperature control here. Let's see if I can get it to focus without too much glare in the screen. Well now the temperature readout is reading out all the time. I finally figured out a little bit of code that helps that and gets me to the menu. Relatively easy now. Get back home. There we go. So the temperature comes up. It reads out. Um, my LED lighting I've gotten code written for a sunrise sunset program and that's kind of where it's defaulted right now. Uh, I can build things but I am terrible on the software side guys. I thought it was going to be as easy as just looking up some code that some genius already wrote and just kind of using that and slipping it in place. Unfortunately everybody's build is different in one way or another. It makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, so the LED lighting, I got the sunrise sunset and it's not working with this code now. I can either have the dimming capability which works on its own or I can have the sunrise sunset. And uh, the way I want it to work is I want to set these at maximum values and that will be the height of sunset. Basically that's all I want it to do. Or I want it to override, say the sun has set and I want to turn the lights on for whatever reason I want it to be able to override that and that's where I'm at with that right now that's kind of a bummer because uh, you know I just don't have the skills software wise to do it so I figured I would work on the temperature control so now I can hit the temperature and that'll bring me to this temperature screen gives me the readout of the tank I'll set up the temperature sensors which will give me the temperature of the left and the, the right heat sinks and then also the ambient temperature of my sump. So it'll give me a readout here. I've got uh, a minimum value and a maximum value for uh, the tank which I will set alarms for. You know if it reaches those points and set fail safes in place to either turn off lights or turn off pumps or whatever I need to cool that temperature down or alert me if the temperature is too low. I also inserted a graph screen. Let's see. Really doesn't focus in. You have to, you're going to just have to trust me I guess that there's a graph there and what it'll do is with these each of these colors will represent a different week and it'll graph the temperature along the way for the week. I thought it'd be easy to code that and that's proven to be difficult. I also set up a, a graph on the pH screen as well and that'll graph the pH for me. I've got some parts coming in for this build. I've got the 8 channel relay which will control my outlet box that I'm building. It'll control 8 different outlets so I'll be able to turn off everything from here without crawling down and unplugging or turning switches or whatever so I'll be able to control everything here. I also have two step down DC step downs coming. This is a 24 volt uh, 16 amp power supply. I got two step downs that I'm going to put down on that end that'll step it down to 12 volt and it'll also step it down to 5 volt and that'll run dosing pumps and whatever else that I have that's going to have DC needs. So basically that's where I'm standing right now. Getting the build going, may have fried out the board, 
but uh, I'm just gonna keep building because that's what I can do I can build things really easily it's the software side that's killing me so that's the Arduino build it's still coming along still a work in progress it'll probably be completely outdated and obsolete by the time I'm done but uh, it's been it's been fun. It's been part of the hobby. I actually started a second hobby. I'm a fish nerd. I'm not an electronics nerd. So it's a real challenge. So that's the update for the Arduino. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch you all next time.